told me to go fishing. Look at this. I caught a big stingray. It's probably about 35 pounds. I'm gonna make a nice soup of the fish. I'm gonna clean it right now. He's a big sucker, nice and fresh. Just caught him. Um, we're gonna just start doing what we gotta do. All right, we're gonna probably get four nice little fillets of pieces of meat. So you're just gonna go down this bone here. Okay. You gotta watch because that's his stomach right there. See? Mm -hmm. Nice piece of meat. Look at that. You don't want to go too far down because then it gets like shitty. Uh, hmm. Clean it out, make sure there's no cartilage in it. Get all this off. There's no bones in this. See? If it was too little, I would have thrown him back, but he's got a lot of meat on here. You know? You know how clean this is? It's like a nice big piece of meat, too, boy. You know? This is gonna be really good piece of meat. I'm gonna make a nice zip of the best shit. This with tomatoes and potatoes is gonna be awesome. You're gonna love it. So we're getting nice, four nice pieces of meat out of this. Okay. Gotta have a sharp knife, guys. It's important. And you don't want to go in there and, 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 and catch them guts. I think it's real sloppy. And another thing is, you only want to get the meat here. This is like a filet almost. This stuff here, there's, there's meat there, but it's tough. It's, tough. it's a ton of cartilage. recommend that you cut to, to skin it right to make it a little easier for yourself when you go to skin it cut the cut the meat in half like this okay that way you can skin it easier okay and start in here like this start in here like this okay good down and then you just run that knife pressed against the skin and it just comes right off. So I took two nice fillets off the off the top of this. Now the ones on the bottom are gonna be a little bit thinner. They're not as good, but there's still a lot of meat on them. So I'm gonna hook that up right now. I'm gonna turn this over, okay? You can't get it any fresher than this, I can tell you that. All right, here we go. Okay. This one's a little bit thinner than that. Okay, we'll do this other side, and we're pretty much done. I'm there. I'm going to knock out this side right now. You can hang with me if you like. Okay, so you kind of be like right in front of these 
All right, so you go down to the, you go down to the wing, and then you just run your knife along the wing. Okay. Sends a steam. Right? Piece of meat. This here's all going to get thrown out. And there goes the, there goes the killer stinger. See it? This thing is deadly. This is their defense mechanism. All right. I hope you enjoy. I caught this big stingray yesterday. You saw it. We're gonna make a nice zuppa de beche, the kind of zuppa de beche that they made years and years ago when the fishermen used to get out to sea and they would make a real hearty zuppa de beche. We're gonna start. We're gonna start with steak that I caught. I'm gonna put some mussels in here. I'm gonna put some shrimp in here. I'm gonna put the potatoes. I got some long hot pepper over here. I got some fresh garlic, some fresh parsley, um, olive oil. So look at this, this beautiful meat I got here. It's, it, it's like steak. It's like steak. This is fish, but we're going to treat it like right, like meat, like pork, chicken, same thing. You see this grain? See how that's grain? It looks like a, it looks like flank steak. See? Okay. So when you when you cut this, you're going to cut. You're going to cut against the grain. You're not going to cut with the grain. See? Like this. First, you see this little bit of gristle? We take all that out. Okay? You're going to take that out. Real nice. All right. And then you cut right, see how that's like that? You cut it like this. See? Right against the grain. Boom. And now that makes it tender, real tender. And I'll cut that all up real nice. I'm gonna have it ready. I'm gonna prep it. I'm gonna have it ready. And we're gonna add the, the fish, the, the stingray, the mussels, the shrimp. You can also have it with clams if you want. You can add scallops in there if you like. You can add a, a, an array of fish, it doesn't matter. And I'll be back. So this meat, I'm gonna I'm gonna cook this meat right in the oil and the vegetables that I have sweating. Okay. Now when I do the other fish, it's only gonna take a few minutes. This is gonna cook out. I'm gonna cook this out as long as it cooks the cook the potatoes. So this dish is gonna take almost an hour, 45 minutes. All right. So I'm gonna throw this meat in here now. I'm gonna cook it out because, like I said earlier, this is almost like steak meat. Okay, it, it, that's how that's how nice this meat is. It's not like fish. It's not going to break out. It's not going to break apart. It's going to hold. It's going to hold exactly the way it is. I don't want to see that in here. All right, I'm going to cook this out in here real nice. It's like. Uh, it's almost like octopus. You cook the octopus. See how it's how, how it's coming out. Mm -hmm. So if you get daring and you feel like doing something fun, here you go. Go out and catch a stingray and make yourself a pot of fisherman stew, zuppa de pesce. Mario style, soup at the pish. All right, um, I'm gonna let that cook a little bit. I'm gonna add the tomatoes, and while you're here, fresh basil, I mean, I mean fresh bay leaf, fresh uh, thyme. We're going to uh, make a little, that's where I can get it out, I don't want this stuff. I don't, I don't want, I only want the flavor. So grab a rubber band, put it, pinch it together, and just go like this, right? 
and then you throw it right in there in the pot. You let it cook, you pull it out. That's it, for noon. All right, I'll be back. So I'm gonna add my tomatoes to this now, okay? I got nice plum tomatoes. I'm gonna break them up and put them in. Break them up, put them in there. And cook them out real nice. Cook that out. I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, just a little get started with. I'm, I'm not gonna tell you how much salt because I'm just gonna keep doing it and tasting it as I go through this. All right. So this is gonna cook out. I can throw the potatoes in here now, and then this, as this reduces and the puree reduces, I'm gonna start adding. This, I'll add the. Um, the fish stock in it, okay? So let's get this going. Let this start cooking. Probably about 10 minutes, 15 minutes, and then I'll be back. All right, so we got this look. I put the I put the, the um, spring of herbs in there. This is coming to a boil. The meat's starting to curl. It almost looks just like, uh, looks like octopus. Look at that, see? I'm going to throw these potatoes in there and then I'll add some seafood stock and it'll, it'll reduce and I'll continue and the flavor is just going to continue to build and then I'll add some mussels, some shrimp and then we can eat it with some garlic bread. It's going to be fabulous. All right, look, see, it's boiling nice. The potatoes are good. They're ready to eat. See how they are? Uh, cut it right real quick. See how they're nice and tender. That's, that's, that's my, uh, how I know. When these guys open up, they're going to release a bunch of juice. It's going to knock the flavor out of the park. All right. I'm going to put them in there. The shrimp in there. I left the tails on just for, because I have, I have shells in there too. If I took the mussels out of the, out of the shell, I would have took the shrimp tails off too. We have one little stir like this and this is going to be the best hardiest zuppa de pesce you've ever eaten in your life you're going to love it can't wait to come back Fun. you want to see something really sexy come on in here and check this out look at that does that look hot or what that is beautiful right this was only cooking for like three minutes look how nice that came out Huh? Now that's a hearty, hearty zuppa de pesce, a, a fisherman seafood stew. We're gonna, I'm gonna plate this up. I got some nice garlic bread I put together. We're gonna eat like Romans. Hey, here we go. This is it. Final product. I made a little, I made a nice little toasted garlic bread. Gonna be nice Italian bread. How you like it? Looks great, right? We got some shrimp in here. Nice and done. See? Pull that tail off. We got these mussels going on. We have that skate that, that I caught right here. It's like like butter. Okay, I'm gonna have a little bit of this. I'm gonna dip my, my bread in here like this. Okay? Get that sauce on there. Mmm. Mm. This is how. The men on the ship say, it's awesome. Bon appetit and hasta luego.